Welcome back. This is episode 173 of NoobTube, a weekly independent podcast where we've been playing some kick-ass games this week. Like Matt Hazard. What? Matt Hazard. <coughs> There's something in my throat that's weird. So this is how it's going to be, huh? You're not going to admit that Matt Hazard is a terrible game. <coughs> what? Matt Hazard is a terrible game! Your mom is a terrible game when we're having sex with my penis. She likes it when I put it You're up. such an idiot. I, dude, I give up. I'm using Watanabe. And I'm Tobin Kazire, and this week we're talking about Bayonetta, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, The Crystal Bearers, uh, Matt Hazard, Bloodbath, and Oh, Beyond. you said it! Shut up. <laughs> and the Divinity 2 demo. Ooh, yeah, and our new releases include Darksiders, Serious Sam HD, Army of Two, the 40th day, and probably the best game of the year. Oh, shit. Walk it out, Walk bitches. it out. I like to walk all day. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ah, boy. Oh, yeah, so uh, we're drinking a different bottled wine this time, I yes. understand, it's, but it's Alderbrook. Yeah, Alderbrook uh, uh, 2006 Zinfandel, because... Yes, our resident sommelier. Our, our, our friend Karen actually got her sommelier license, and she said that she would uh, uh, treat NoobTube to a nice glass of wine. Mm. So now we're going to get spoiled, and uh, everything will be terrible forever. We can't drink box wine anymore. It's, I it's, know. It's ridiculous. I know. And, it's, uh, and it's then people gorgeous. are going to keep making photoshops of like our, our box <laughs> of wine crying because we've we've uh, abandoned it. We'll get, we'll get but, back to it at some point, but uh, yeah, yeah we'll, I'm we'll still ghetto it. on the inside. That's right. <laughs> you, you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first game up is uh, this is a doozy. Palinetta. It's uh, Palinetta. Um, Bayonetta. Man, dude, like we, we talked about the demo uh, a few w- weeks ago, yep. right? Uh, and uh, we were – so it was a mixed, right? I mean, basically, you thought it was – Spazzy. Spazzy. Yeah. Yeah, and I, and I totally got, got what you said, but I knew the demo was going to be different. Yeah, you were, uh, uh, you were a lot oh, more game. excited about it than I was. Yes. So what do you think about it? So I love it. So this, ga- so this game – so I, the way I'd like to describe it to people is just like, okay, it's Devil May Cry, yeah. but good. Mm-hmm. And it's got kind of that general, like, sort of almost rhythm game feel. Mm. Like, okay. uh, you're, you're, you're doing it. So, so there's something about the game and the, the way that the combat is designed is that as you see, continue to play the game, you get this sort of rhythm out yeah. of your fingers and you just make her do all this really amazing, crazy stuff. And it's yeah. just like you're looking at it you're like, is that like on autopilot? Right. But it's not. You're actually doing every single amazing move. Yeah, so I mean, it, it turns out that the shining jewel of Bayonetta is the combat. Oh, absolutely. I mean... Not, not all the cutscenes? <laughs> not all the cutscenes. I mean, we can talk about some okay. other stuff in a minute. Sure, yeah. But uh, there is absolutely no doubt that, that they, have, they have made this just amazingly polished, uh, uh, really well-finessed combat system that is a pleasure to learn. Like, and, and that's interesting to hear you say that because, yeah. I, like, generally speaking, a lot of times the combat system isn't the thing that you're looking for right. in a game, right? right? It's just like, for me... When you have these games where you're learning how yeah. to do it as opposed to not the character learning, it's just like it's it just feels right. Yeah, and and the thing that the thing that kind of sold me on it is the variety in the sense that mm. um, as you progress through the game, you get weird shit. You're starting to get like whips, <laughs> yeah, and and uh, claws, uh, a, a claws, yeah. and a sword, uh, roller skate or ice skates. Like you're getting uh, all these. Yeah. But I mean, so, and so, forms too, right? I mean, you can yeah. turn into a, 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 a tiger, weird tiger or something, thing. something, and then you can also turn into a, a bat. Yeah, uh, it it's weird, dude. And and the and the cool thing is, is you get all these combinations of weapons, and you go into the the menu system, and you're like, all right, uh, form A is going to be guns mm-hmm. and roller skates, and then yep. form B is going to be like you know unicorn and breast assists. which is yeah, that's you know something. I mean, like you can combine all this weird shit, and then every combination of those weapons is a different, <sighs> a whole different set of moves. Absolutely, and like you're saying, like the guns is one thing, but mm-hmm. like not all the. There's two different kinds of guns. One's a shotgun, one's yep. more of a pistol. Yeah. And the other one, like with all the different, I haven't got the whip yet. Mm. Um, but it's cool. It, <sighs> the sword is really cool too. There's yeah. this katana that you can just whoop up on people with. Yeah, and I mean, I love the overall weapon systems. And, and the thing is, what, what I really like about the way they do the progression is like, okay, they have the monster, right? You're, you're yeah. finding some guys and like, they can start getting kind of hard. Yeah. And you get like to a boss character, you're like, all right, bitches, like you get the, the, the fire and ice uh, lions, for example. Yeah. And like, okay, whoa, that was hard. And you're like, you know, sweating, blah, blah, blah. The next stage, 
that's like the first, like the normal character right. that you fight. The normal yeah. minions, you're the boss. And they do that constantly throughout it just the game. Keep, it keeps escalating. It keeps oh, escalating yeah. where it's just like, you, know, you have these boss battles where you think that the world is going to end. Like, you know, <laughs> things are disappearing and this guy is like this floating upside down head with two oh. fucking dragons coming out yep. of him. And the, the, you know, like the ground will appear and disappear. And, you know, you're doing all these crazy moves and, you know, and, and you'll do crazy stuff where you grab them and like flip them onto the ground. <laughs> Suplexing like, dragons is like yeah, the best. You suplex a goddamn dragon like you're Hulk Hogan. <laughs> or whoever a modern wrestler yeah, you're this is. Small. <laughs> the, the Rock? He's so, still, no, sure. he doesn't wrestle anymore. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, like, seriously, Bayonet is this big, yeah. and you have this big random monster, and they're just doing it, it, It's ridiculous. It is. It is over um, the top, stupid, tarted. And I love it. I mean, seriously, like this game, the thing is, like this game appeals to a certain type of gamer. I can yes. totally see where I can definitely see why it got a 40 out of 40 in Famitsu mm-hmm. as like basically it's a perfect game. And they almost never give that perfect score. It's just yeah. like if you're Japanese yeah. and you love these sorts of like weird combat systems and there's just uh, okay, the, uh, the cutscenes. I don't know if you want to go there, but the cutscenes are very Japanese. Yeah. Um, you have so, to admit uh, there. So there's stuff there's stuff that 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 did uh, uh, wear on me more than I think it did with you. Yeah. Where it's just like this game in many ways to me is a lot of a lot of substance with no style. It, it, it's it's you one mean, of these things. substance with style or style without substance. No, it's substance with no Wait, style. Where it's just it, like I'm, I'm just saying that like there's this great combat system, and I hate I I really don't like the the huh. overblown style where it's not a style that I enjoy. Like it just yeah. kind of sometimes feels to me like the entire screen is just full of shit that's not... Oh, interesting. A lot of times I feel hard... I have a hard time feeling committed to it. Like, I'm just like, ah, this is like almost like I'm playing a rhythm game where I'm watching, yeah. you know, fireworks on the screen as opposed to... That's weird, because that's what I like about it, because there's just so many things to, to, to see or to, that can distract yeah. your attention, but all you're really concerned about is like the things that you're landing, whether you're doing with a particular style, yeah, whether you're getting hit. Yeah, she's a stupid bitch. Like, I never, <laughs> ever feel any sort of tie to her. Like, I don't like her. I don't like the cutscenes where she's nope. just kind of talking in this weird, stupid accent. Like, I don't mm-hmm. like... The, the love interest is really annoying. Yeah. The story makes absolutely no sense. No sense at all. I mean, um, you know, the, she was tied up in some cage, and there was some other woman. Uh, that was, she was, she's the last witch. And but there's, there's another mention, witch. But there's and, another witch. And, like, yeah, and there's a guy who's Inferno who sells you stuff, and then right. there's the little version of you. Yeah. You're trying to... So, Honestly, like, yeah. And, 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 and like, I, I very, very much enjoyed playing the game. I, I've, I've, I'm pretty far into it. I'm going to keep playing just because I love, love, love the boss battles. I <sighs> love the boss battles. It's <laughs> I live for those boss battles. Like, and there's a lot of the them. game for me. Yeah. yeah, there's mini boss battles yeah. in between. It's just like you never quite know if you're really finding the end boss, which right. is the weird thing because everything is so epic. Yeah. Um, but... But even but, then... But I'm just saying that, that that is really holding uh-huh. a lot back for me where it's just like a lot of times I just... I, I don't feel any connection to the game. Like I just, I very much when I'm done with it, it's kind of like I drank a diet coke. Yeah, you know what I mean. I'm just so like, it's like oh. Nutrisweet, the game. Yeah, it is. It is, it is, it is right. totally a Nutrisweet game. And I'll definitely agree with you. In a lot of those cases, like it has that thing. But for me, the the combat and every the combat is so deep that everything else is window dressing. So I don't really care so much. There's some of the cutscenes I wish I could skip. And yeah, thankfully you can. Yeah. Um, and the, the way they kind of added some of the the other elements, like the uh, the, the much about the, the the motorcycle, or rather the, the road scene, it's yeah. just like they were able to put in the stand. They didn't put a turret scene, thank God. But right. as far as the, the the road or the scene, they put it in. It, did, it worked really well. Yeah. Um. So. So yeah, yeah they, they did a lot of really good things, and you know, like with the cutscenes, they got really lazy. Where for some reason, I know. That I don't understand. They made they made like epic <laughs> world fucking monsters, and then they're like, "Hey, there's a cutscene. How about we have a still shot <laughs> with like." It's not voice bubble, it's voice, right? Yeah, it's it like, is voice. It's like actually but it's... audio, but she's just like like this, and she's talking for 30 seconds. You know? Yeah, just like, and the guy's like, what? What are you talking about? Yeah. you like, <sighs> did, did the person in charge of those, like, just fuck off, and then you had to ship it anyway? It's very it must strange. be, because you got to admit, like, they spent a lot of money on animations. Yeah. They spent a lot of money on, you know, textures and other stuff, yeah. but... And the voice acting, like especially coming from from something like Uncharted, yeah. Oh, dude, it is, it's it, noticeably it, it's bad. It's so so painful. Yeah, but um, uh, but I mean, so, so you know that shit aside, it's not <laughs> all uh, uh, super spazzy combat. There's some world exploration, yep. like. They'll they'll kind of push you up to your limit where you're just like fighting, 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 yeah. and then she gets to walk around a little bit. Maybe she'll be dodging mm-hmm. s- spikes. Yeah, you know. When well, the pacing was pretty good, right? Because I, yeah. I was really worried about that very first level being the rest of the game. Me too. Um, and it isn't. It isn't. No, I mean, they do not. they do pace it correctly, and yeah. like some of the stuff is interesting. Do you do any of the Alphimes? 
It's uh, a little thing you'd go, and it's just like, okay, you've got to kill these three guys with five kicks oh, and three punches. Yeah, I did try that, and I <laughs> failed completely. Did you actually beat any of them? No. They're, They're really fucking hard. hard. Yeah, it's, it's like a puzzle game. It's a yeah. puzzle fighting game. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was really weird. So, I mean, like you kind of jump into this ghost world where they give you a challenge, and the challenge yeah. is mind blowingly you better be Japanese hard. Pretty much, uh, uh, or you got to learn the tricks. Or a lot of people, like I've been talking to friends who play the game, they just go to Game Facts. They're like, do this, do this, and I'm like, but then well, that's the why, point. Like, why like, do you bother? Yeah. You could just not buy the game and read Game Facts. <laughs> Pretty just much. Like, wow, I beat this game. <laughs> but I think you have to do those because, like, the thing is, like, I got maybe silver or gold once, mm. and then every single thing after, stone, 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 stone. Yep, me too. So there's room to grow, but I'm looking at it, I'm like, why are all these missing things? And yeah. apparently what I've been he- hearing is that you have to do the Alfheims too. Oh. So you have to do really well all the different verses. They cut off each you know, chapter into different yeah. verses. You have to do amazing on all those, yeah. but you also have to make sure you do all of them. Wow. I'm like so so, th- so, so if, if you're you are, a, if you're a completist, this game is going to be very challenging. for It's going to make you very happy for a very long time. Yeah. yeah. Um, for me, I'm probably not. I don't, I don't get into that whole like S like class S. You know, I don't no. really get into that. I know you. I'm don't. very happy to beat a level <laughs> <laughs> to get to the end. It's like so yeah. funny because that stone statue will come up. I'm like, fuck you. <laughs> it's just like whatever. I'm not going to replay that to get a not stone statue. Whatever yeah. silver statue. Did, did they actually get Joe Pesci to do that character? Or is it Joe Pesci? Do you think that, that's who it was? Well, I mean, it's basically the good, the Goodfellas, right? You're talking about you're talking about the the little Weasley dude. Yeah, I mean, th- they took that character from Goodfellas. Yeah. I don't know if that was sort of. No, well, I mean, it's probably not hard to get Pesci. That's probably. I mean, right. you know, like he hasn't been in a movie for ten years. It's probably he's probably just sitting around waiting for some shit to happen. So maybe, yeah, something. But uh, um, but yeah, I mean, I I like and the, and the length is good. I'm I'm actually very impressed. Yeah. I haven't beaten it yet, and I've been playing the shit out of it. And and the thing I like about it a lot is pick up and play. Yeah, because I have not been playing, able to play like for the past few weeks. I've been playing been able to play for a very long time. Yeah. and I'll be like, I'll play a verse or I'll play a level, and it auto saves yeah. after each one. So it, yeah, it just fe- it, it's perfect. I can it, pick it, it up. It seems like it seems like one of those things. Where I think you can beat a level in like twenty five minutes, twenty to twenty five minutes. Much, yeah. So it's just it's kind of nice that you just like pick it up and put it down, and you can walk away. Exactly. Because it is a nutra sweet game. <laughs> it's it's a trickly, but it's well done trickly. It is. It is very well done. Uh, so good. All right. Uh, next one. I think uh, we're gonna have some. Uh, we're actually gonna have a unanimous opinion on this game. God damn it! See, <laughs> you seriously think this is gonna be good? Really? Well, no, because we were talking about how funny it would be if, if oh, that's uh, right. uh, yeah, Matt yeah. Hazard. So this is so this is Matt Hazard Bloodbath and Beyond. Yeah. This is the the two D side scrolling Matt uh, Hazard. It's on, on Xbox the, Live. Xbox I don't know Live. if it's on PSN, but and we were saying how funny it would be if I hated it mm-hmm. and you were just like defending it to high heaven. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me more. What about it no, is no, awesome? I, I don't. Nah. No. Uh, nah. So uh, so so we just played the demo, and honestly, mm-hmm. I didn't buy the game. Dude, I was getting tired of the demo. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, what, I mean, what is it? I mean, it's basically trying to be a little bit of metal uh, slug. Yeah. Trying to be a lot, a lot of, metal of slug. a lot of metal slug, but a lot of contra too. Yeah. I noticed. I mean, I can kind of tell. Like, okay, I can see what they're going for. Right. And it looks kind of pretty, but kind of not. Because mm-hmm. you can tell, like, okay, let's spend a lot of effort on this one character model, this sh- this fish that then bites you, and then right. go there. But then overall, when you put them all together, it looks like absolute garbage. It does. It, it doesn't. I mean, and the thing is, is is. I thought that that Eat Lead, I mean, like Eat Lead had bad play mechanics, but what it basically looked like was a pretty well done game from like ten years ago. You know, so I mean, yeah. I'm not going to say it didn't look like shit. It didn't look good. well. It didn't look good. I yeah, mean, it didn't let's good. be let's be honest. It didn't look good. But the the point is, is is Eat Lead. I got through all of that because it was a absolute pleasure for me to play through every minute of that game because. Mm-hmm. Every level was this multifaceted reference. Everything was just, yeah. you know, let's make fun of every Western game. Let's make fun of every alien abduction game. Let's make mm-hmm. fun of all this. And the shit that he would say and, and the little, the, all the character names mm-hmm. and the stuff on the walls, like, they took a crappy engine and not very good graphics and stuffed so much time and love and thought and references into it that it got me past that. It didn't get yeah. you past it. No, 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 no. I mean, the thing is, I definitely enjoyed it when I, when I said, like I said, if I could watch you playing the game, yeah. it would have been an awesome experience. But where was it in this game? None of it is there. I- Literally none <laughs> of it is there. Like, they'll have this little blurb at the beginning of the level, like, you're stuck in a level. Go kill some dudes. Matt Hazard's like, fuck my life. Blah, 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 blah. And it's just, it, it's... There's, There's I, a couple of one-liners that I saw that were slightly attuned to what you were doing in the game, but yeah. it was like once or twice. Exactly, and the one-liners you're just like, hmm. yeah, that was you're like, that yeah. Was I mean, I mean, Matt Hazard, I'd be like snorking, I'd be like pausing the game and like <laughs> telling people, I was like, did you see what he said? And I'd be like, me? what level are you on now? What? How'd you get? Exactly. Yeah, you're like, oh. why are you still playing that game? <laughs> but so I mean, they basically really wanted to make some money off of this franchise. 
How, how well do you think Matt Hazard really did? Does mm. it really deserve a sequel? I mean, mm. seriously, I don't think it actually. No, made... no, no. But I'm just saying that, like, you know, they, they, they. I don't think that they've got. Well, you know, we had that one guy that said that he wrote for the first one. Yeah, we and see... he said he was working on this one, and now I feel really what bad. I happened? think. Well, yeah. no, maybe, maybe the trial doesn't show all of the awesome texts that we saw. But yeah, maybe. Like... I mean, maybe they should have done a better trial. Maybe <laughs> that there's like this wonderful game in there, but I don't think you can put all of these awesome game references in a very side simple scroller. 2D side scroller. I mean, the whole thing is like you're shooting a gun. Uh, I wouldn't uh, say that though. Remember Super Paper Mario? I mean, that was tradi- essentially that wasn't a, a 2D platformer. Side scroller, but though. it was it's a like plat- you could switch, you know, all the. But really, I mean, like all the stuff was the interaction. You'd stop and you talk to somebody. Like, okay, there yeah. was no opportunity. No, you're to, right. You're right. You know what I mean? Um, you can do if you have good writers. You yeah. Can, with any medium at all, you can make something magical and wonderful. That's right. Like hey, Shadow Complex. Yes. That was a side scroll exactly. shooter, and exactly. the story was good up to the end. Yeah, that was, and then the ending sucked. was stupid. Uh, <laughs> but so there was there was literally nothing redeeming about this game for me. No, and it was expensive too. I think it was twelve hundred points. God. Oh. So I'm um, sorry to the people that worked on the first one. If you're still working on the second one, uh, but this is not a good game. And uh, I'm I feel vindicated. I think uh, I think yeah. Just Matt has just stop. Just stop. Take, yeah. take your talents, apply. Take your writing talents, apply them to a good game. Yeah. Please. Yeah. Um, so Ooh. next up, <laughs> why did I play this game? Why? Did you... I told you to. I know. Well, I'm just like... I told you that I had played it. I don't think I, I don't think I ever in any way recommended. It. I'm like, hey, did you try the Divinity <gasps> Two demo? I'm like, oh no, I haven't yet. I'll go try that right away. He's like, yeah, have fun. And I'm like, buddy. what the fuck, dude? Like seriously. This so this divinity uh, so it's divinity two, divinity two ego draconis which yeah. is probably in the runner up for worst game of this year uh, title title yeah that, that um, is ego, ego draconis, draconis. I, I don't care do you get the story because I mean I guess you're a guy and somehow you have the spirit of a dragon you can turn into a dragon yeah I don't I don't do you ride but, dragons like what is it with you and dragons I don't know I <laughs> I, think... I I was really trying to follow the bullshit yeah um, but you know the engine is not very good oh that's terrible and. If the, so here's the thing. If yeah. you're going to give somebody a demo, you need to give them a taste of the most fun parts of your game. Like, Yeah. It's very hard to demo an RPG because a lot of RPGs is in character interaction, do some of the yep. things, but you can do these things where you give them a really nice, funny interaction or a, a very meaningful interaction yeah. and then get them into the combat, show them how that works, show them how the... You know, you, you give them a taste of the things that are the essence of the game. Yeah. And in a demo like this, you don't say, here's a demo, how about you spend 40 minutes <laughs> running around talking to people? Well, but that's what you do in the beginning of the game. They basically made the beginning of the game a, a demo. Yeah, and right? it sucks. But imagine this, what if they made Dragon Age as a demo? Like one of the one of the but stories, right? But the story right? sold me on Dragon Age. Like yeah. I, but what's the story of this? Oh, one? I, see, I, you're, I see what you're saying. You're saying yeah. that you're saying that if a game's good enough, exactly. I mean, that's what I say. If you do the right, then making, right. making the intro isn't necessarily always a bad idea. Yeah. But this one is just seriously like it's like in the loading times. Like it said, go to this zone, and I'm like, go to this guy, and I'm like, yeah. oh, where's he? Okay, he's over here. I hit it. I'm like, twenty seconds later. Yeah. I go into a room this big. Yeah. And he's not in that room. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just yeah. And I went, it's like, oh, what the fuck? And I had to go outside and then go back into a room. Yeah. Or something so I mean, like that. But maybe, yeah, basically, there's this whole town, and oh. then the town is full of buildings, and you're supposed to go around and find some people. And you're just like, walk in the door, loading, 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 yeah. walk out a door, loading, 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 walk over here, loading, loading, loading. And, and, you know, when I was playing this, I was actually thinking, if you look at uh, uh, Bayonetta, for example, mm-hmm. if you look at some of these games that are coming out are really oh, good. Oh, no, yeah. I'm starting to think now that, that one of the really key. Uh, signs of a good developer is 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 finding genius ways to eliminate loading time. Oh, like, think right. about what lazy bullshit this is for you to walk into a building that is literally a square. <laughs> like, a good developer would have said, like, okay, when someone is in the proximity of these buildings, start reloading it. Part start reload start exactly. preloading the rooms. I mean, like, yeah, these are technology things. Technology exists. Yes. Um, these it, are fucking powerful boxes <laughs> that we are playing these games on. They could do all this shit. And, 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 and that's it. If you're a lazy coder, if you're an engine coder, but it's like the thing with, that you were saying with Bayonetta, I mean, it's absolutely true. Because look, if you're going to have long loadings, which Bayonetta has some pretty long load times yep. for the most part, guess what? You can practice all of the different combos while you're playing. Exactly. And I got to a point where the load times were not long enough. Because you're trying to learn some new Yeah, I'm combos. like, fuck, fuck. I was like, fuck. Uh, fuck. It's just like, oh, no, wait. Yeah. Right? So then yeah. at some points, I'd be like, ooh, that's a cool combo. I hit pause so I can stay in the loading screen until I got the combo down right. and then left. So I mean, that, it's like ridiculous. Like, and 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 the th- think of like it. It oh. sounds like such a simple thing, but 
to make you not hard. mind loading times is mm-hmm. is an absolute sign of a top notch developer that has spent time and thought and effort to say like you know we want every second of this game to be pleasurable yeah. no matter how hard it is for us to do that exactly and it's just like it's polished it all boils down to yeah. the best game developers will either demand the time or schedule the time and say we are going to make this the most awesome take yeah. any of the sharp edges and just rough them yeah down. and so, anywhere anywhere and uh, uh, Divinity this is 2 all is all sharp <laughs> edges man that is it's like having sex with an anorexic girl yeah. man there's just it's edges just like, everywhere it's just like, like why is your elbow in my wow oh, is uh, that a rib is that a rib I thought that was a nipple <laughs> Jesus yeah, that, it, I mean, yeah, it's, it's just there, it's just crap. Like the you know, like the loading times were crap. The story was crap. The engine was crap. It, it looked was, like crap. And yeah. like the combat too. It, was, it felt like I was playing WoW, where I was just like hitting a button. Yeah, yeah. I'm do I'm playing a console RPG. Yeah. combat should be not this. It should not be this shitty. So um, yeah. So Stay that was away. a bad demo. Terrible. Um, <laughs> we're just we just keep going, huh? We just keep going. Dude, so it's, it's January. I think that's that's the time. Yeah, this is is January. Um, you know, we we have some stuff coming out that's a lot more promising. Serious Sam is more promising. Oh yeah, uh, you know, walk, it out, stuff. Dude. walk Well, walk it out. It's going to be game of the year. So I mean, we've got some other stuff coming out. So don't think that you know we're always going to have to be shitting on games every day, but. Beginning of January is some shit. Yeah, they just they couldn't make Christmas. They're like, ah, oh, fuck it. Yeah, January it is. <laughs> so there's this demo we won't talk about for very long called yeah. Jurassic the Hunter. But it was also called oh, actually it was the Hunted. Oh, the Hunted. So it was also called Jurassic the Hunter or Jurassic Hunter. Hunter. Yeah. So, so they basically think if they keep changing names and letters, I mean, like it's a very different thing to be hunted and hunter, <laughs> like. <laughs> You know, if you're Jurassic the Hunted, you're a fucking dinosaur. Right? Like, they're, like, they're chasing you. Yeah, right? exactly. I mean, it's, you know. So anyway, this... Uh, so what is it? It's it's a it's a siege game? Would you call it Sure. That? Uh, yeah, it's a It's siege an arena game. game. It's, yeah. Uh, you're, you're some dude in you're the dude. Jurassic Times, but you yep. have guns. Yeah. Uh, you're in a base of some sort, right? Yeah, for you're some the, reason you're in a base... And um, there is an infinite number of waves of dinosaurs running at you, and you shoot them. Yeah, but 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 here's the tr- here's the twist. Yeah, you have windows. Oh yeah, and they always go after the windows. Yeah, and they kind of chew on the bars for a little bit. And then can you repair those windows? You can repair them. Strategy. Well, this hey, is like dude. it's like Starcraft. And, and dude, there's emplacement, gun emplacement. Yeah. So you can get on and shoot and, the dinosaurs and hold the trigger down. Yes. And and point it at the windows and just let dinosaurs run into the field of fire. And it's just so fucking oh, boring. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh sorry, we thought I was gonna say. I was gonna say it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's so fun. I just can't figure out like. Seriously, like, when you were doing the pitch meeting for this game, like, how did yeah. they sell this to get the money to build it? I know. Like, dude, like, dude, no, no, no. You're, you're in a base. Yeah. Do kids love fighting dinosaurs? Oh, yeah. So with we'll guns. just let them fight dinosaurs with guns. Like, they're like, oh, what's the plot? It's like, no, no, no. I think you misunderstood me when I was <laughs> selling you this game. <laughs> no, think, think Turok? Yeah. But you're standing still. Yeah. Basically, yeah, you are you are in this. Im- you, like, oh god, fuck oh. this game. Yeah, I like don't... if you if you go back, I mean, I know you didn't like King Kong that much. Oh no, not at all. But King Kong, there was some serious stress. Like you're running around the forest and dinosaurs were attacking you, and it was just like, you know, there was moments where I was just flipped out. I was low on ammo and I was running and like trying to hide on rocks, and there'd be different dinosaurs sneaking around. Like you know, it's better than this game. It's way better than this game. <laughs> it's way better. But yeah. uh, Jurassic the Hunter. Well, how do you compare this to Worse Tur- than- Turok? Remember Turok? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Um, so, I mean, Jurassic the Hunter or whatever, like, you know. Just check it out to see how bad possibly, how passably bad game Yeah, it's almost, before. it's almost worth trying for humor value. Like, if you are bored, download this demo and laugh for five minutes and then delete it. Yes, or maybe do a review on it and then uh, get internet fame. Oh, God damn. So, uh, <laughs> last up. Ah, big yeah. Big game. So, uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles colon the Crystal Bearers. Um. Yeah, that's a so, so Crystal Chronicles. What's the idea about the world of the Crystal Chronicles? Because they've had the DS games, which one mm-hmm. of them we actually really liked. Yeah, remember where you had somebody with you and you were doing all this uh, like platforming and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's the? I don't understand the concept of Final Fantasy world, which is always a different world for every right for the most part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Crystal Chronicles for kids. Because yeah. that's the feel that I get. It does. It does. It does feel like that. I mean, like so. So one thing that I will note about this is they actually had. It, they actually interviewed uh, uh, the developers on this game, and they mm-hmm. went out. You know, like we talk about Nintendo being more casual. Yeah. They actually said, like Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, the Crystal Bears. I would very much like your grandmother to be able to play this game. Ooh. Like they were just. They're just saying, like this should be fun for the whole family. Anybody should be able to pick it up and play it. You know, it, it's like uh, 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 Wii Sports for RPGs. 
Very RPG light. I can yeah. definitely see that. But but the weird thing is, like we had, we got a chance to play about twenty minutes, and granted, about nineteen of it was cutscenes. Yeah. But we were like getting into it. We we're like, oh, cool! You can like pick up items, you can throw them, and oh, I'm yeah. like, wow! I hope they do some cool stuff with this. Oh yeah, I mean, we, uh, uh, if you go back to to our uh, um, TGS. TGS show. Yeah. I was genuinely excited. I was just like, because I mean, you got stuck in a lot more cutscenes than me. Yeah. But I was doing all this shit where, uh, you know, I was really enjoying like using your telekinetic powers to yes. lift up blocks, and you know, this girl would be falling, and you'd catch her, and yep. there was doing all this stuff, and I was like, wow, this could be really interesting use yeah. of the Wii mode. If you kind of make it and put it into the world of Final Fantasy, you add right. all of the RPG elements where you have health, yeah, and you know. Strength and mana. maybe multifaceted combat, something perhaps of some sort. Complex, uh, but I didn't see any of that. So this game's <laughs> fucking weird. Like, we game? I oh, sorry, sorry. This I, psh, this, that's bold. Experience <laughs> this series of bits on a disc. <laughs> These <laughs> this mini game collection. This world that you inhabit <laughs> is just, weird. Yeah, it's. I, I have no idea what's going on in this world. I could not find the game. I really couldn't find the game. I mean, like, there is a bare bones minimal combat system. Combat, combat system. Combat, yeah. Where, where the combat really relies on take picking up shit and throwing it at other shit. Right. And there's like, All the there's time. some monsters that shoot shit out their mouth where you can pick them up, and when you pull the throw trigger instead of throwing them, it just shoots bullets out mm-hmm. their mouth. But the funny thing is, is you can't tell before you pick them up if they're going to be that kind of monster, right? So oh. it's just like a lot of times I would try and throw them, and they'd be shooting, and oh. I mean, it was just crap. Like, the combat was garbage. It was just, like, pick up a rock, throw it at a dude, pick up a dude, throw it at another dude. Yeah. I mean, I got to a point where, like, I don't think I played as much as you did, but, you know, I I went everywhere, and then I started walking. I'm like, okay, walk to this town. I'm walking. I see some monsters. I'm like, let me go kill them. Yeah. see some more monsters. Let me go kill those guys. Let me go find some shit. And I'm like... Why am I doing all exactly, of this stuff? Exactly. What I is the context? I don't understand. Yeah. There's, there's, no, there's no health. There's no like experience. There's, nope. no, there's no reason to go pick up shit or fight monsters or do any of this stuff. Nope. Nope. And the best part <laughs> is, the best part is, speaking of things with no reason, Yeah. did you get to the uh, 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 beach scene? No, I did not. Okay. okay so, so tell me about the beach so scene. So this dude, this dude, the hero of the story, is supposed to be out saving the world. And he's like, I have to go over here. And you got to walk over there. And he's like, mm-hmm. now I have to go over here. And you're like, you don't ever really understand why, but it's very important yeah, to you have the a job world to do. Yeah. that there's some, he's a crystal bearer, and somebody <laughs> stole some purple shit from some other dude. And he's just like, I'm on a fucking mission to save the world. So yeah. he shows up at this beach. And... Suddenly, he spends like five minutes talking to these girls at the beach, and then these girls at the beach start playing a game where they're trying to balance on a on a, uh-huh. on a floating raft. Yeah, and then you sit there and you have to like use your telekinesis to help the girls not lose the game where they're balancing on this raft against Why? these other bitchy girls at the beach. No reason. <laughs> Do you get anything? Nope. 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 It, it's just. I mean, it's just this. It's just this stupid, pointless series of mini games where it's just. It's not an RPG. It's, it's just not a game. It's, it's not a game. It's just, like a couple dumbass mini games, no plot of any consequence. Uh, it's kind of pretty. I, I, a little it's, for the Wii, it looks freaking amazing. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I mean, but it's a it, good looking game. And like, I feel like I'm in a Final Fantasy world. They really do a good job with like getting the Moogles and getting yep. Chocobos and doing all this other random stuff and having the same archetype characters that you're going to be yep. seeing in all these Final Fantasy games. But I'm like. I always feel like I should be doing something in a Final Fantasy game. Right. I really do. It's just like, and you know what your dude, next shit's thing happening. Is. Yeah. yeah. It's like whether you're grinding to pick up some levels, like whether you're looking yeah. around for an item that you need, whether or you're I'm hunting, this, a monster, hunting a monster, or it's just like, oh, I need this one thing, this yeah. one piece of armor, I got to do something. There's always a reason. But you're basically, at this point, you're walking from point A to B and then watching what happens and then maybe playing a minigame. So it's just like he walks in mm-hmm. <clears throat> and, and they're like, oh, there's this engine that I need you to power with your crystal bearer powers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe it's going to be a mini game. No, yeah. it is you watching a movie of him powering the engine with his yep. mini powers, and then something else happens. You're like, "Where's the game? <laughs> I can't find it." <laughs> well, but the thing is, what bothers me is like seriously, if they want the grandmothers to play, do you, does that seriously work? Because even because let me let me make my argument. It's like Wii yeah. Sports, you still get like the score yeah. that helps and that gives you something. It's just like oh, and it tracks your progress tracks over your time. Progress. There, there's a game like element. If you if you're just like kicking a ball around around yeah. the field, like okay, fine. That's you're just playing around. Right. That's what I feel this game is. But when you add a goal that you have to put it in and you get a point, it's a game that doesn't exist. <laughs> Right? It does not exist in Final Fantasy Chronicles. Yeah. The closest you can get is is uh, th- there's this weird bullshit that they never explain where the sun comes up and down or whatever it is where it's just like it goes from evil world <laughs> yeah, saw, yeah. evil world to good world and 
Never explained. Uh, what? So you'll be fighting monsters, yeah. and then you've got yeah. almost all of them killed, and then all of a sudden it's just like, me, 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 and then all of a sudden the world's really cheerful and there's no monsters. Yeah. I, I couldn't figure so you have out to sit why does it happen. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But the point is, is while, while you're in evil world, which yeah. I would maybe compare back to Castlevania 2, where it's sure. like night and day. Or Bayonetta, or where Bay- you can walk on walls. Right, sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, so if you <clears throat> kill all the monsters in one particular zone, yeah. you get one more bar of health on your oh, thing. Oh, is that what happens? Because the thing is, I would fight him, and there's like one guy left. I, I, I was looking around, I see him, right. and I start running, and then it changes, and I'm like, well, what the fuck? And then I wait a little while, and they all come back, and they're all back again. I'm like, yeah. That's when I turned it off. I said, fuck this game. Yeah, fuck you <laughs> for what you've just done to me. Yeah, there's, I... Uh, so I would like is, to review this game, but I was unable to find it. This, I, I think this is the thing for... for if we go to hell, yeah. we're going to be forced to play something like this yeah. all the, for eternity... With no purpose. Yeah, where it's not as much bad as you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> There's no reason for yeah, exactly. to do like, yeah. I, Why have you done this to me? It's just like somebody just walks up in the street and just slaps your face. Like, yeah. why did you do that? They're like, I don't know. Because okay. purple. <laughs> Which, this, that's what this game is all about. It's purple. Yeah. Yeah. All right. This game is purple. So, it, it, and dude, I can't you know, believe... This game was four years in development. What? Well, I can tell, dude. This game looked like it had a lot of work put in it to make five billion mini games, which don't make sense. Yeah, I mean, maybe this is like the epitome of a casual game designed by committee. Mm. You know what I mean? Maybe maybe this is the. I think so yeah, it has this that feeling, is just dude. like a bunch of Japanese people, and every one of them has an idea of what a casual game is. So you take the average of a hundred people's idea of a yep. casual game and get a thousand people to build it, and get a thousand people to build wow. it. Wow! And this is what you have. A, st- a, a, a steaming pile of poo. I, I just can't believe we were like, man, I, I can't believe Square Enix took so long. It might have made our list for best Wii game. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. I, I was Ugh. so fucking amped for this game just because I was ready to have a really fun Wii game. Yeah. Um, and this was not it. So, <sighs> so mm. boom. Um, so we so got that is it. Uh, so next week we actually do have some more intriguing looking games. Yeah. Um, Army of Two, the 40th day, the first one out. Yeah. I, I didn't like the first one, so I don't know if this is going to be that intriguing. I didn't either. Uh, so I was watching some of the gameplay trailers, mm-hmm. and it looks it looks pretty. Like It looks like it's got a little bit more attitude than the first one. Oh. Uh, it's Wait, kind more of... attitude? I mean, the other one had tons of attitude, dude. I mean, that's... Okay, that's true. Sorry. but it, it, <laughs> More like... Yeah, it looks less homoeroticism, maybe. Yeah, maybe it looks a little edgier. I don't know, like, but okay. like actually well done as opposed to. Okay. They were kind of in jungles and shit in the first one, weren't they? Like this I one. I thought they were in cities. Where they, remember you were picking up doors? Oh, you're right. Like... Shit, I don't remember. I just remember I didn't like it. No, I mean, we, and we played it. So the thing is, like, I, I don't. It's not very memorable, but it was not good. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I think we're gonna have to play this together. But I know, yeah. like, our schedules have been way off lately. Yeah. So, like, hopefully, we'll be able to play this online co-op. But like. Yeah, I mean, the, 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 big, the big sale on this is supposed to be the, uh, the the co-op. So it's like Army of Two, you know, you're doing a lot of stuff where it's like, uh, you know, one of you is protecting, the other one's firing, one of you is pushing a door where the other one's doing whatever. And I, and I have very low hopes that they've improved the AI a lot. Because I remember we played, I played a little bit by myself, and mm-hmm. I'm like, wow, this sucks. Yeah. And playing with you, at least we can, like, basically talk about how bad this game sucks. Yeah. Which was somewhat entertaining. Right, yes. You guys but... love that, right? <laughs> 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 but yeah, I'm not super excited, but we will play it. Give it yeah, a try. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, so next up is Darksiders. Uh, yeah, so um, this already came out. I've been playing a little bit, but not enough to really give it a full review. Um, so we will definitely talk about it next. So what, what is the world like in Darksiders? Uh, like, well, I mean, it, it feels to me like I really want to compare it to Prototype. Mm. Um, but instead of being this genetic abnormality, you're war, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Horse the apocalypse. So, uh, so um, yeah, there's this. But there's that's this, the feeling I get. Yeah. I can I can see that. I mean, it's like you're one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. You're only supposed to be summoned at the end of the world, and something happens. <laughs> something happens as usual. Shit goes down. That's right. <clears throat> and you gotta represent one, the four horsemen. Yeah, I guess. And like the thing is, a lot of people that have been well, the playing four horsemen. There's there's war, uh, happy, uh, sleepy, oh, sneezy. sneezy, oh sneezy, and Papa. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Carpenter as well. Carly <laughs> was there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no. A lot of people are saying that they've been playing, and there's like a lot of Zelda elements, which I thought was weird because I didn't encounter any. I haven't encountered any. I wonder yet, what so. they're meaning by that. Like, do you, you know you are like you pla- like opening door shit? Is, uh, is my understanding. Okay. All right. um, so I mean, we'll uh, uh, considering that there's fuck all else to play. I would say that we will yeah. definitely be playing this. I mean, it looks very pretty, so it looks very interesting. Yeah, yeah, it does. Uh, some some of the animations of like the, the monsters so far yeah. have been very impressive, and it kind of fits the pattern, which is what I've been saying, which is that 2010. Zombies are out. Good and evil is in. 
You think so? I totally think so. Because I mean, you're right. I mean, you're right. Bayonetta was all about fighting angels. Dante's uh, Inferno. Dante's Inferno. Hell, hell is the new zombies. I yeah. guess, right? So I mean, it's just like there's angels yeah. and demons. There's good and evil. There's hell and heaven. Is there an angels and demons game? Oh, yet? I'm sure. I'm sure there was that <sighs> fucking terrible. Uh, 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 did you play it? I did. You played the Da Vinci Code. I did. No, you really? We, I, I don't did. think we reviewed it. I, well, we didn't review because I was embarrassed. <laughs> I was ashamed, and you dragged that out of me. <laughs> you do. I don't even remember you mentioning it to me. Actually, <laughs> I thought we were friends. Now I feel, uh, sorry. I feel, I feel ashamed bad. of myself. Uh, but yeah, I think hell. Hell, you're right. Hell's the new zombies. Uh, demons are the new zombies. Yeah. So um, yeah. It's gonna so be we'll see. Um, and then, so serious Sam HD. So I, I'm I have, I'm embarrassed to admit, I didn't play this game. Yeah. I didn't the either, and, I really and it, didn't. it's such a well-known franchise that I, I kind of feel like we're we're uh, losing a little bit of gamer cred admitting that we didn't play it. Dude, I, I played everything else, dude. I played Rise of the Triad. I played yeah. fucking, what was that one where you turn people into chickens? Oh, yeah. Hexen. He- yeah. He- 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. There's that era where Serious Sam did come in. I pretty yeah. much played every single one, but Serious Sam, and everybody seems to love it. You play turn dudes into chickens in uh, King's Quest Three to Air as Human. <laughs> also, you did, and also you died a billion times. Every five seconds. You're like, oh, you swept the floor wrong, fuck stick. <laughs> Didn't Chicken. I, I told you about the time, right? I was playing that particular game in the, in the Radio Shack when it got robbed. What? I mean, I told you well, this was, this was, long, it was a few episodes ago. But basically, yeah. me and my friend, we, we were kids and we didn't have our own PCs. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we were just we always go to Radio Shack to play their games. Yeah. Um, and then we were there, sitting there playing Radio of uh, Final, uh, which one call it? Uh, Kings was three. Yeah. And then two guys in masks walked in with guns, <laughs> took all the register money. We were just sitting there like, uh, yeah. Uh, we just kept playing. Ignore robber. Ignore. <laughs> Ignore. <laughs> <laughs> Hide. P- piss pants. Like, <laughs> what is a pants? <laughs> I don't know pants. I don't know the word pants. I'm yeah, sorry. They, they took all the cash, took a bunch of radios, walked out, and we're just like, fuck. You but just stood there? Well, well, no, we were sitting there at the, at the table watching, yeah. we're playing the game. I mean, they didn't even talk to you? They oh, just, no, like, no, they were like, well, it's like two kids, right? Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. And then, haven't the, you seen the trailers for Kick-Ass? No. You should have put, you haven't seen the trailer no, no, for no, Kick-Ass? No, no, There's right. this new movie about a bunch of kids turning into superheroes and whooping up on people. <laughs> this is like, they just like make their own uniforms. Dude, if I did that, I wouldn't be here today. That's true. What if you fucking studied karate like a good Asian kid? I studied judo. It's a self-defense thing, and it doesn't work against... You're like, come at me! <laughs> With I a can't, gun! I can't, I, can't, exactly, I can't attack you. Put the gun down, because don't be a pussy. Yeah. Come at me. <laughs> come on. I will, I will sweep the leg. What the fuck are we talking about? Serious know. Sam. <laughs> Serious Sam. <laughs> so, so we never played um. it. <laughs> So, so yeah, so that's our story. I don't. Yeah, know. we we didn't play, it, but it looks cool. We were looking at the video, um, and basically, my understanding about this game is it's just like kind of like Doom. Yeah, but you are fighting a billion monsters at a time. Yeah, and and uh, you know, it looks like they got a really good sense of humor about it. It looks uh, mm-hmm. very similar to Eat Lead in that sense, where like it's Duke just Nukem-y? like yeah, yeah, Duke Nukem. It's mm-hmm. just it's kind of self referential, and uh, they just took this game. And they just re-released really it. I mean, yeah, it's not trailer, you know, the trailer is hilarious. They're like, in 2001, this game came out about you fucking, you know, devils with your yeah. cornhole, and then they're just like, in 2010, we're releasing it again. The same game, the same goddamn Better game. Looking, and it looks fantastic. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's on Xbox Live Arcade, so definitely give it a try. I'm gonna pick oh. it up tonight. Actually, oh, I'm kind of yeah. geeked. We were watching the, the stuff, and it just it was just so, so stupid. There's just like infinite number of demons and stuff. So yeah, we'll review it next week, and then. uh Oh, dude. Last one. Last one. What time is it, dude? It's walk it out time, It's dude. time to walk it the fuck out. That's right. I am Yuzu Watanabe. I am a podcaster. Yeah, and... Uh, uh, and I like to say... Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, it's just... <laughs> so, you know, there's, <sighs> there's this game coming out where uh, uh, you get to walk to the rhythm of all your favorite songs. I mean, it's just... you think it'll have all my songs? I think it'll have all your songs. And here's the thing. What? If you've got a DDR pad, if you've yeah. got, uh, if you just have a Wiimote, you know, if you have, you can walk it out to fucking anything. What, dude, like even the Wii balance board, like everything. Yeah. Oh, anything. And it was just like, you could even walk it out outside if you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah, dude. F- why would you ever walk outside when you can walk it the fuck out on the Wii? Hell yeah. You, so, you guys want to see this? Yeah. You guys want to see this shit? All right, here we go. Hey, I'm Liz, and I'm a personal trainer. It's time to walk it out and get fit to over a hundred of your favorite songs. You can get in shape using your Wii Remote and Nunchuck, your Wii Balance Board, and even your Dance Dance Revolution controller. That's right. I'm talking to you, Dad. Looking good. Come on, kids. Great work. Keep it up. Okay. 
So I'm 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 pretty concerned that that will be the game of the year, um, and it's only January. So it's, it seems kind of unfair. Like I think that if they weren't a bunch of cocks, they would have waited till the, the last half of the year to release Walking Out. I know because you know, it's because why forget about it? But, I mean. Well, but I mean, why is anybody else going to release any games this year? I, you're right. I mean, it's good. basically the Modern Warfare 2 effect. And you know what I hope, dude? What's I that? hope they actually use the pedometers you can get mm. with that DS game and then use it so I can walk it out and actually keep track. Hell yeah. You just like put on a Walkman oh, and yeah. then just walk it out and then come home and get credit for it on your Wii. Yeah, this is, so. this, this is all I'm going to be doing all year. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Okay. okay. I don't even need to review that game. Two thumbs up. It's going to be awesome. Best game of the year. Number one. God damn it. So... Um, <laughs> So we were we were uh, we were gone for two weeks. Yes, and uh, a bunch of donations came in. Yeah, so like, thank you very much. Uh, some very generous ones. We really appreciate it. Kantong. Uh, thank you very much. Yep, absolutely. Uh, uh, Viara again. Uh, uh, again. So Viara gave us a very generous donation before, um, and then uh, she gave us another one uh, now. So thank you very much, Viara, for your generous donation. This really yes. really helps with uh, uh, our hosting yep. and our uh, buying games and stuff. Yes, yeah, because we actually we just upgraded our uh, our software. Software, which yes. cost a pretty penny. So yeah, we're, we're doing new forum software. So yeah. this will take a while to roll out. You guys aren't going to see this for a while, but we are investing in a, a new forum software that's not free, yes. which is shocking in this day and age that I any know. software isn't free. But, but that just means it's better, right? Yeah, of course. of course. Anything you pay for is better. Yes. And oh, hey, thank you very much to Greeper3000. Yep. Uh, he, he gave us a Christmas present. He did. He said, this is for Bioshock 2. Yes. So awesome! Oh. So he bought us each a copy of Bioshock oh. 2. So when the game comes out, we are all over that shit. I'm, I'm thanks to, it tomorrow. Yeah, thanks to Greeper3000. And then last up is uh, Magister Gladi. Yes, thank you very much, uh, sir. Thank you for donation. So Your please keep them coming. We really, really appreciate it. This is the only way that it keeps uh, you and I having to dip into our own pocket to pay for this yeah. show. Like The fact that you guys keep this running is, is wonderful. Thank you very much. Yes, and uh, oh, I have some news. So... I have to thank you guys. So you guys had heard the story. I did lose my bag because yes. Davis basically fucking stole it. Yes. Um, and uh, they apparently found it. And uh, like some guy calls like, hey, is this Yuzo? And I'm like, uh, yeah. And he's like, yeah. Like, who the fuck is asking, bitch? <laughs> which, which is my usual uh, response. That's usually when, um, I, when I call that's you. you call. That's I always start crying when we're on the phone. It's like, why are you so mean all the time? But, so they uh, found your bag. So, so yeah, they're saying like, oh yeah, so this bag has been sitting in here for three weeks. And uh, I looked at what's inside. I thought I should give you a call. Cock. So, um, so the, I did find it, but for some reason, my PSP was missing. Ooh, shocking. I mean, ask that dickhead that called you I, where I, your PSP It's just is. like, uh, this is my tax. Yeah. Well, fortunately, I mean, like, all the other stuff was there, so I do appreciate. Yes. Um, but the thing is, I want to let you guys know because I feel kind of bad because, like, you guys definitely helped me out. Uh, I wanted to... Um, which while I still get the PSP, but I uh, want to give away my, my uh, DS Yes, as a thing. So um, everybody that's donated for all the other stuff, let us know what you guys want to do because we either use it for the site, we'll yeah. donate it, we'll give it back or whatever. Yeah. So just you know, contact us. We'll, we'll Absolutely. Absolutely. But so, thank you guys I so really much for chipping it. in. Uh, that was really nice. And it's fucking awesome that Yuzo got most of his stuff back. Most. <laughs> most stuff. <laughs> Um, but uh, and we're gonna give away the uh, the overflow to you guys. So we're gonna give away the DS that I have. Uh, and what do we what do we ask? We ask people to send in videos, right? Yes. Um, uh, why they're deserving? Why they're deserving? Yes. Mm. Um, so <clears throat> we have a winner. Do, was it a winner? or Is it just the first entry? Because we're gonna ask for. Well, oh, sorry, sorry. We okay, have sorry. we have the first, a we have an entry. Sorry, who's, who's pretty good at uh, this point. <laughs> <clears throat> this is this is pretty awesome. So so we said, why do you deserve a DS? And uh, the first entry is Ninsaru. Mm -hmm. uh, here you go. Oh hi! I didn't notice you there. My name's Ninsaru, and I want a new DS. Why? Because I think I deserve. It. Now I want a DS just because I want one. It's because I really want one. And if you don't give me what I want. Ha! Here's your present. Oh gee, I wonder what it is. Why the fuck did you keep my present, you asshole? Speak to me! It was on sale! Shut the fuck up! Fuck! What the hell's going on? Get the fuck up, man! What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna get fucking hell? over to you, you little bastard! <laughs> fuck! Oh, I want that BS bad. 
really bad. We're gonna suffer the consequences. All the time we have now. Yeah. Oh man, he makes a good, good argument. He does. I feel a little bit weird uh, uh, playing videos of like thirteen-year-olds killing dudes with guns. Like, yeah. <laughs> Who do you think? Like, like a mini Spielberg at some point? He'll be able to point to yeah, it and say, like, you know, maybe a, a future white Mike. You know? <laughs> <laughs> don't watch his movies, kids. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. Do, do not watch each of the killer tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Did he do Old Boy too, or is that somebody else? That was not. It was okay, yeah, you should watch. Yeah, don't you watch should definitely not watch Old Boy, but you should totally watch. It's fucking awesome. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're so bad. I'm like, I'm like the devil and angel on my own shoulders. I'm like, don't do it, do it, don't do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Ninsaru, for that awesome video. Yeah. That was super cool. So we'll hold out the, the contest for a little while. Send in a video. Uh, keep it short, about under a minute, of why you guys think you deserve a DS, and yes. we'll send it on out. Absolutely. Sorry. Hold on a second. Sure. All right. Um, yep. And then, so... Uh, oh, shoops. It is shoopity doop time. Yep. Thank you very much, Wiggy Monster, for setting it up. We have 82. Holy shit, that's a long-running series. That is a lot. Mm. Um, and I love the fact that this has been going on for, like, half the length of the show. I mean, I for know. we've we've had this going on for so long... And uh, so right now we've got uh, Wookie Monster. Uh, mm-hmm. Sorry, the the winner was live mm-hmm. by Plastic Tree. By Plastic Tree. Nice, awesome image. We'll be showing that right now. Yes. <clears throat> so uh, each week we like to feature a new people army on the show. Send in videos with questions, funny stories, or any sort of review, and uh, give us a call then. Hell yeah! Um, you can also contact us toll free at eight 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 two three three eight four eight zero, or send your files to feedback at noobtube dot com. Also, please post them as video responses on uh, YouTube. We have been getting a lot lately. Like Dude, the last couple the episodes. Well, so you posted the episode saying, uh, uh, you know, please review a game in yeah. NoobTube style. We have been getting like. Five a day. Yeah, I know. You guys, you guys are the shit. Yeah, so we're going to hold that out there for maybe two, maybe three weeks, and yeah. then we're going to probably make a compilation video and stick it on for all the best ones. That's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, it's like just start dropping all those in oh, there because yeah. you guys did a great job with some of these reviews. I mean, some of them are hilarious. Did you see the too. wine one? I did. <laughs> I did. That kid looks like he's like 13. I know. It's like, don't drink if you're underage. Yeah. And don't videotape it. No. But, uh, but yeah, he drinks the wine. He's just like, he's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, you know, he doesn't like it because yeah, alcohol is right. bad for minors. It is. But it's great once you turn 21. Oh, yeah. Um, or, uh, you know, 18 if you're in Europe. You, yeah, or Canada, I think. Or 14 if you're in Spain, I think. There's some countries where it's Isn't like UK like 12? <laughs> I don't think uh, yeah. so. <laughs> I'm just saying. Sure. Why not? <laughs> Italy's probably eight. You know, I think, in, I, I think in, in Ireland, they just put whiskey in the bottles. <laughs> in the Guinness. <laughs> yeah, in the, just in the Guinness. Just, you know. Um, so, <clears throat> fuck. Oh, yeah. So, uh, so first up, we have Envious mm. uh, with him uh, talking about your mom. I mean, his mom. His mom. His mom. <laughs> not my mom. What's up, Tobin and News? So, Envious from the forums. You guys are going to love this one. All right, so uh, our house has a family computer, and that's mostly, like, the one I use my YouTube on. And I usually go on it, you know, watch your show, favorite, a few episodes. But I did not know that my mom used the same computer because she has her own. But, like, it turns out she's been checking out the favorites and, you know, recently watched and uh, stumbled upon her show. So uh, it's Christmas Day, and I'm wondering how she knew all the games that I wanted. Turns out she's been watching your show to see what games to get me. So I've gotten all these games you guys have been talking about. Yeah, my mom watches news too. That's kind of weird, right? <laughs> Only me. Anyway. Uh, thanks for all the games, I guess. Yeah. Wow, that is a fantastic idea. Hi, Envious' mom. <laughs> hey, Hi, Envious' mom. mom. I'm sorry for all the jokes about rape. Yeah. <laughs> and we did not tell him to drink. Yeah, we totally... Like, don't drink, don't do drugs, stay in school. Absolutely. Good influence. Absolutely. We are, we um, are good people, good God-fearing people. So, hey. yes. how cool is that that I she know. watched the show to get game ideas for... I can't believe that somebody's mom sat through this show. Like, I know. all of the offensive things that you say, and yes. I tell you not to. Hey, you know, I'm a... Uh, what can I say? I mean, I say? this show could basically be summed up as me trying to contain your filthy trucker mouth. <sighs> id. It's my you're, id. Yeah, it's, your id. Just terrible. nonstop. Unfortunately, it's sitting here. So yeah. What are you going to do? Um, but... I, awesome. I can't. I mean, she must be a, a damn a, cool mom. I mean, that considering a, yeah. if she knows what bukake means at this point. I mean, <laughs> hey, moms, don't Google that. <laughs> don't Google that. But no, dude, like unless maybe. Sorry? All right, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I should start saying about Stop. Envious's mom. <laughs> 
Um, I just, I, cause I just have all these like, I have these things that just want to come out, but then I'm just like, now I'm picturing all these people's moms I watching know. the show it's and terrible. remembering their days of doing bukkake before. <laughs> Hey, listen, all moms were t- in college at some yeah, point. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, it's just I like... mean, I heard there's that one time that Envious is... <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Dude, that whole fraternity is... I just... <laughs> talk. <laughs> oh, He's okay. never going to watch our show again. No, I'm we're sorry. sorry. We, we apologize, but... I'm sorry, your mom's... <laughs> Stop. Okay, never mind. All right, so, so. but like, the, like, there's those other stories of like, remember, like, kids watching it with their parents. Yes. How the hell does that happen? That's that's, that's probably pretty rare. Um, I guess. But I mean, yeah, I don't. I can't. I can't. I can't condone it. I really I, can't. I, I like, a parents sitting there with their kid. Like, I mean, maybe it's good to have this be something that they experience with their parents, where their parents have a good sense of humor, and it's not something that they're like. Rebelling against okay. their parents. But think, but imagine you are the parent of a fourteen-year-old. I will and never I'm just be saying, a parent of a fourteen-year-old. Imagine if that was the case, and they and you, they were watching, and they they say, "Dad, what does bukake mean?" Yeah. Actually, you'd probably be like, "Oh, by the way, yeah. show you." No, hold on. <laughs> we bring up some websites. Yeah. Let me put it. Here's a poster <laughs> and a super soaker with yogurt. I'm gonna show you. <laughs> That's right. So Let me actually, enact this for you, You son. are a bad example. I'm going to um, te- teach your kids. Yo, they are not coming anywhere near you. I am you. so freaking excited for you to start spitting out some kids that I can oh, just, just they, destroy they their not, brains. Uncle Tobin is not going to exist in this world. <laughs> Maybe if they're like 18 at that point, then it's like safe. You better have a uh. son. <laughs> Oh, next call it, next call it. This is damn you. That whole voicemail was just what? led to bad that things. Terrible. Um, <laughs> so okay, why. so uh, this is unknown. He didn't oh, give us yeah. his name. No, no, no. Hey, Tobin Muzo, you guys were surprised to see uh, Modern Warfare Two at the number three for most disappointing, and you said patches. Uh, I definitely understand that, but um, another light is me and my friends see uh, some of the unrealism in a realistic shooter such as Modern Warfare, and it stops us from playing, such as, you know, people running around with a tactical knife with their lightweight pro, with their lightweight in their marathon, and, you know, when is that going to happen in war, we think, and people are using dual shotguns and stuff like that, like, the, you know, the heartbeat sensor. It's a piece of fiction they made, you know, and you have to use Ninja to counteract it cold-blooded. Like, all these things just aren't real, and when we're playing the game, we say, you know, that's ridiculous, and it pisses us off, and... That's kind of why we put it down. Just another opinion as to why, you know, some people thought it was disappointing. Yeah. Is this guy serious? He, I think he. I think he is. Um, <clears throat> I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know that. I don't know that what I look most for in games is realism so much as fun. <laughs> I can't imagine any game besides something like Flight Simulator, which is a boring, boring game. Right. Um, I can't, beyond that, like. Well, I was playing Halo, and then there was this energy grenade, and I just turned it off because I'm like, that's not realistic. Energy grenades wouldn't work that way. I can show you the physics on my oh, whiteboard. Yeah. yeah, the shield grenades? Just like, what? I was like, playing Mario, but then they started riding a dragon around that would like shoot eggs out of his mouth. I'm I know. like, fuck this shit. Dude, Assassin's Creed, when you go into the, the freaking hay, like, he can't sur- possibly yeah. survive Yeah, that. I mean, yeah, why would you jump off a building into a hay pile like that? Hello, and like, the animus doesn't exist. Yeah, it's not real. Like, like seriously, like if you're going to con- complain about realism in video games, you should be only playing games like Flight Simulator, right. maybe some strategic board games at some point. Right. That being said, <sighs> um, I think that the major point that he's making is that people are definitely playing Modern Warfare 2 in a way that, that would kind of uh, be considered contradicting of the intent of the designers. No, not at all. You don't, I don't think? think? No, because I think if they did not do that... If they didn't mean for that to happen, they wouldn't have allowed it. You know what I mean? This is what you call emergent behavior in games, right? When you put like eight, 20 different things, which in different permutations can basically make all these different behaviors, mm. and they find one that's really fun, yeah. then you find one that's really fun. You're but done, a lot right? of people are not finding these things fun. A lot of these people are not finding... I find it freaking hilarious running like really fast and like, stab, stab. I mean, it's hilarious. It's awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, you've been playing it for hours and hours. So I... Apparently, it, it, I mean, like... He, you know, I, I can kind of see the point of view that he's saying, which is that if you're used to to to, to kind of realistic shooters mm-hmm. where they're they're striving for realism, bunch of dudes fighting uh, in Iraq, 
are probably not like running from barrack to barrack <laughs> on super speed with a knife, right? Okay, like, fine. If you want to say like, okay, war. Like, if you want to be realistic about war, guess what you're doing? You're fixing Humvees, <laughs> right? You are sitting. Oh no, for no, eight I'm just, hours. I'm just saying, I mean, that's. I'm just saying that just in general, like they're not fighting. In there's some games where they really try to be like, you know, what, it's really easy to shoot and kill somebody. Like if you were playing a game where there's people really running around killing each other, what would it be like? And it wouldn't be. It wouldn't dudes be fun. Around, yeah, probably. It not. wouldn't be like seriously. Like it wouldn't be fun because basically, like I've. Oh, I don't know, because paintball is something like that, right? A little bit. So actually doing it is fine, but I think where it's so realistic, because like, actually there's a couple of games that are super ultra-realistic. What was that one? Operation Flashpoint? Oh, yeah. We did a little bit where, seriously, the game is you're walking through stuff, like right, like, yeah. like brush, right? And then you don't see anybody for a while. Yeah, but I mean, did you play Full Spectrum Warrior? Uh, because that was that was one of my favorite war games ever, and it yeah, was like no, that was totally really realistic. Like it really tried to go for squad oh, combat. Stop messing on my arguments. Because <laughs> <laughs> that was a good game. God damn it! <laughs> but I think the point that you're making is it doesn't always have to be realistic, right? No, I mean, it's just like it, you know, it can be good either way. But you are, you're absolutely right. I mean, th- this is a realistic game that yeah. is fun because they actually used that exact engine. They built that engine to train troops in Iraq how to handle various situations. Yeah. So, I mean, it was fun. It was fun as shit. It's I really love fun. Full Spectrum Fuck. Warrior. Damn you! <laughs> Ha-ha! <laughs> so you win. So that's I your think. show for the week. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, so, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I, I don't consider unrealism as a valid complaint. Like, no. But, you know. I associate unrealism with not fun uh, most of the time. It's when true. You think about it. When, when you add some element, like if you're a game developer. Oh, you, you, mean, add, you mean you associate realism with not fun? Uh, yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. So, but yeah, if you're a game developer and you're saying like, oh, how do we make this more realistic? Right. I don't want a game developer ever to say that. I wanted them to say, how do I make this more fun? Exactly. Because that's all I want. What we're playing games for is because a lot of times real life is fucking boring. Oh, a lot of times. Like, you know, we're sitting at our desk for eight hours a day writing code. We're paying taxes <laughs> and we're driving in traffic. <laughs> Software engineer, the game. Yeah. Like how- nah, 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 nah. I'm going to go take a piss and then I'm going to get a free soda. Control C, control V. Yeah. yeah. It's like, uh, oh, my office mate has B.O. Uh, <laughs> check Reddit. <laughs> Life is fucking boring, it's man. It's pretty much it, like, yeah. I am in games for escapism 100%. I am there yes. because they make some kick-ass, fun shit to do, puzzles oh, yeah. to solve, worlds to see. So, yep. uh, Escapism. Escapism. Hooray. So Hooray. next up is Ali. Hmm. Hey, guys. It's Ali from the forums. Um, I got a question for you guys about portable gaming. Uh, I have a, both a PSP and a DS, and there's a lot of games in, coming out in 2010 that come out for both systems. So my question is, when a game comes out for both the PSP and the DS, how do you guys decide which system you're going to get it for? Um, I noticed you guys had a lot of complaints in the past about the PSP, like the nub and everything. <coughs> and also an additional question, between the PSP and the DS, which one works better for online gaming? Uh, any advice, guys? That's it. Yeah. yeah. Normally, we don't answer these kinds of questions, but those are both really good questions. Yeah. Uh, um, the first one, I think, is kind of interesting <laughs> because a lot of times a game with the same title yeah. will come out on PSP and mm-hmm. DS, but I don't think that it's frequently the same game. No, a lot of times they'll use the actual touch screen and they'll use various yeah. input mechanisms of, on, on that and make it a entirely different game. So right? a lot of times what they'll do is they'll release a game on the, the <clears throat> PSP and the PS2 Yep. And have it be the same goddamn game Pretty because much. they're basically equivalent in power. <laughs> yes. And then the DS is an entirely different game. Yeah, Assassin's Creed did that. Um, God, there's a bunch of games that did that. Modern I, Warfare did that. Yeah. So I would say my opinion is that chances are if a game is crappy enough that they're releasing it on the PSP and the DS, the PSP one will probably be better. No, but the thing is, I'm trying to think of examples. Like, if you look at GTA Chinatown Wars, right? That's yeah. one where you, it's almost pretty, very similar game. Mm. I would pick the PSP because it's going to look better. Yeah. And to me, a lot of the little gimmicky stuff that they did on the DS to use the touch screen didn't really add to That's it. That's what I said. I said PSP. Did mm. I say DS? Uh, I don't know what you see. Well, <laughs> you weren't no, listening to me. No, no, no. I mean, just like, well, you didn't, you didn't talk I, about GTA. G- oh, no, no, no. no. Yeah. I was just saying that, like, in general, I'd pick the PSP if it's on both. I see. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. But, but, but I think if they made a game that really you know, went to the DS... I, I, frankly, the games I that are good of... on DS are made for the fucking DS. Yeah, they're, not made, they're not made to be multi-platform. Like, no. if you look at every game we've ever loved on the DS, it doesn't exist in the PSP. Ever. God, I'm trying to think. Like, seriously, I think you're absolutely right. Yeah. And then there's a special games, which I think you 
would be very hard to do on the on the DS. They didn't be like Rock Band, uh, Rock Band on tour. Ah, right, right. Yeah. So you take that game and then you put it on the DS. You're like, eh, really? Yeah, because there's um, just so many buttons on the PSP. It works perfectly for a rhythm game. Exactly. But for for a nub, for any, yeah, I guess I mean, you can't really make a rule, but it's like anything navigational focused. Yeah. Then that's going to use the nub a lot. Like I'd probably play on the DS because yeah. you're probably going to have some cool stuff to do there. But otherwise, uh, you have to pick. I think it's like a game by game basis. I think it's a game by game basis, but I mean. <laughs> Honestly, I, I can't think of anything that's been coming out on multiple mobile <laughs> platforms lately that's been all that good. I mean, GTA Chinatown Wars, we didn't really like all that much. No, like, it wasn't awesome. I kind of like games that are focused on a platform, especially for mobile platforms. I mean, like, if you look at the PSP, sorry, the, the PS3 and the Xbox 360, they're <coughs> pretty equivalent pretty in power. Yeah, exactly. And in, in, in function and in features. Yes. DS and PSP are totally different animals. Yeah, I mean, it's just like saying, like, oh, yeah, well, it's a mobile game, it's on the iPhone. Yeah. Would you... Interchange of and Assassin's through. Creed was shit on all mobile platforms. <laughs> Did you actually try it on the PSP? No, I didn't try. It. Yeah, okay. I, I'm I will, assuming. I will bet you ten dollars. <laughs> I'm not going to take that fucking bet. <laughs> I, I didn't mean to try it on the PSP, but then I yeah. realized it would probably be anus. Yes. Oh, but actually, the online story is actually interesting too because oh yeah, I think with the DS, if you support the Nintendo Wi-Fi service, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. I was playing uh, a couple of games where actually I could talk to people. Using have, the microphone. I've never done that. I was playing Sloth, and all I kept on saying was penis while we were playing, which was... Eh, so it yeah, sounds like every online experience I've ever had. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, yeah, but then you do the PSP. Wait, did he call you a homo? Uh, no, he did not. Oh, well, that doesn't sound right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, so, so with the PSP, you have to do this weird ad hoc mode. Mm. We have to do this weird... It's like, it's so painful. I don't think I've ever played an online game on the, piece, on the PSP. Wow. Ever. Have you? No. Yeah. So, um, I'd say DS is better for that. Yeah, Okay. So beep beep. So that's our show for the week. That's right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yes, please check out our website at nooptube.com and purchase by our forums by clicking on the community tab at the top of the page. Holla! So if you're watching this video on YouTube, there's a subscription button right over here, motherfucker. So hit it. Hit it. Also, rate this video with five stars by clicking in my right junkish area. Um, thanks for watching. That's all for this episode. <laughs> I am Toba Kozire. Yeah, I'm Yuzo Watsonabe. Audio engineering is by Ranged Coffee Juggler Strunk. No, nah, not so good. Not good. No, thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. Right. Matt, I don't <laughs> like it. Just... <coughs> That's something in my throat. Is it, so is this how it's going to be? You're not going to admit that Matt has <laughs> <is> a <laughs> hmm? You're... Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you... Wait, what is this? Oh, I have to yell what my husband said. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, because the two lines are... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why are you sending your mom? <laughs>